Hi, this is Mark Serzano from the International Piano Technician School and HowToTunePianos.com, and I have something very exciting to share with you. Right here I have, on my phone, this slide rule by the International Piano Technician School. This is, in a, this is not available yet. We're just in development of it, but it's going to be available very soon. Um, and I think I'm going to put on, underneath this video somewhere where you can pre-order. Look for a link to pre-order this, uh, this app, and I think you, if you're interested in piano tuning by ear, oral piano tuning, you're going to want this app. So you click on it, and basically uh, all it does is it allows you to slide with your finger and read off the partial series above any note. So if we drop it on C3, you can see the first partial C3, C4, and then the fifth is in there, G5, and then you've got the dominant seventh chord, C, E, G, B flat, A sharp, and C. Now that would be cool just in and of itself, but this thing will also allow you to see the coincident partials of any interval. For example, you just, uh, I've got to do it on the phone here. Here it is, here's the phone. You grab the uh, bottom note, slide it along, and you can see the coincident partial of any interval. So for example, let's say we take the, well, let's make it hard. Like, uh, let's say it's a fourth, C sharp and F sharp. So on the bottom here, it tells you what the interval is. It tells you it's a perfect fourth. And then over here, it tells you the coincident partial. So the first coincident partial we're mostly concerned with is the four three here. And if you, you want to impress your other piano 200 friends, you can just say, oh, this is the four three coincident partial for the fourth. Most people just assume that this is the one we're talking about. And you can look and see that it's the C sharp five, which is two octaves above the bottom note, C sharp three. And, and that's what we use to remember. We remember that the coincident partial for the fourth is two octaves above the bottom note. Oh, well, what about the fifth? Oh, C sharp to G sharp. You can see down here, it says it's a fifth. And now you can see the first coincident partial is just an octave above the top note. So you can actually visually see the relationship of the coincident partial to the intervals that you're playing on the piano. And also you start to recognize that there are other coincident partials, not just the first one that everybody talks about, but sometimes you uh, are con were concerned with the second coincident partial. Now, if you click on the check, look what happens. If you've got yourself a fifth, you've got the coincident partial, you also have the check note. So now the check note you use to measure the size of the fifth. So you would play the E here with the C sharp, and then you would play the E with the G sharp. And those are your intervals that you would play to determine the size of the fifth. And there's a way of doing that by listening to the interval speeds. If they're the same speed, you've got a pure interval. And you can also slide that around if you wanted to look at, let's say, the second coincident partial. You grab, just grab the check note, and if you get even close to it and let go, it will slot into that second coincident partial. And that shows you what the coincident partial is there. Now, a common way we use coincident partials is for the octave. So if you throw in the octave there, now you can see all of the coincident partials that we talk about. The 2-1, that's the top note of the octave. The 4-2, that's an octave above the top note. The 6-3, which is an octave and a fifth above the top note. And the 8-4, which is two octaves above the top note. And now by sliding the check note along, we can determine the check intervals for any of these octaves. For example, if you wanted to test the 4-2, you would use the G-sharp. That's the major third, major tenth test. If you wanted to test the 6-3, now you go up a minor third from C to D sharp or E flat. Play the C, E flat, E flat, C. Compare the beat rates. If they're the same speed, it's a pure 6-3. If you wanted to know the 8-4, it's just a major third down from the top note there, A flat to C. So you play C, A flat, listen to that speed. The beating is occurring at the coincident partial right here. That's where the beating occurs, at the coincident partial. So you play the C, A flat, then the A flat, C, all the while listening up here, comparing the beat speeds. So this is how it works. The interval slide rule. Know any partial series at your fingertips. Know any coincident partial at your fingertips. And know any check note for any interval at your fingertips. So look for a link below for this app. It's very, very useful for people who are having any trouble at all. Even for me, I'm very comfortable with intervals and check notes, but this thing was amazing because it showed me things I didn't even realize, like the minor third. Who would have thought that the minor third actually has two coincident partials right beside each other? I did not know that, but this helped me learn that. So this is a great tool for anybody, beginners or people who are teaching or even professionals who just want to play around with it and uh, see what it does. So look for the link and pre-order, and we'll get that out as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.